Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to play a fun, colorful nature game with our Paw Patrol chalk. We have a purple Marshall, a yellow Rubble, blue Chase, green Rubble, orange Chase, and a red Marshall. And you can play this game at home with your chalk. First, let's draw a red circle with our red marshal. And then we're going to search for things in nature that are red. This bush has a dark red leaf. We can put this in our circle. Let's look for one more thing. Ooh, a flower petal that's just fallen off the flower. This is a dark red. We'll put it in our circle. Now we'll draw a green circle with our rubble. There's lots of green in nature right now since it's springtime. Look at the little ant rubble. It's so teeny. The leaves on this cherry tree are green. But we've also found a snail. It's not moving, so maybe it's sleeping. And we found some green minty leaves. Look at all of the green. We could put so much in our green circle. There's some ivy and a hydrangea. Oops, I dropped my blue chase, but he's okay. Sometimes chalk can crack when you drop it. Time to find something in nature that's blue. This could be a little more difficult, but we found some little blue forget-me-not flowers. We've used the colors red, green, and blue, but we're missing one primary color. Red and blue are primary colors. What's the third one? It's yellow. And yellow rubble is going to draw a yellow circle. Right away we spot a yellow leaf. It's got a little brown blemish on it. And very close to the leaf was some yellow flowers. We'll put a petal in the middle of our circle. Well, that was a fun nature hunt today. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have a new Paw Patrol wooden Skittles set and we are going to go lawn bowling today. We have each of our Paw Patrol characters. It looks like Rubble is turning his head away from us. There's even a little wooden ball. So we're going to open it up with Poppy. Hi Poppy! And have a look at all of our Paw Patrol pups. It looks like our wooden Skittles are attached to the packaging, so we will need to give those a little snip. And here is the ball. It's a beautiful natural wood color and a blue Paw Patrol logo. We have Rubble. Zuma. Sky. Marshall. Chase. Oops. Sorry, Marshall, you fell over. Oh, no. Now we have one more. Who's missing? It's Rocky. And who is the tallest pup? I would say Chase is the tallest. 
And who is the shortest pup? Hmm, it looks like Rubble, but Sky, let's put her next to Rubble. Oh, Sky is smaller than Rubble, although it's hard to tell with the bumpy grass. Okay, I've set up my Skittles and I'm ready to bowl. And I got one point. Oh, and Rubble fell down on his own. Let's put him back up. That doesn't count. I get two more rolls. Let's see how many I can knock down. I got two more pups down. I have three points. One more. And on my third try, I didn't knock any of them down, so I get three points total. And I'll keep practicing, and maybe we'll have more fun later with our Skittles. Poppy and I say goodbye. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are outdoors with our Paw Patrol toys. And Zuma, what are you doing under the leaves? He's hiding. We found you. He loves playing in the dried leaves. And there's cherry blossom petals too. Oh, he's digging. What are you digging for? Oh, there are some bugs. There's an ant. Oh, and a pill bug. And let's see, what about over here? Let's lift these leaves up. Oh my gosh. There are all different kinds of bugs. This must be their home. Oh, we better put the leaves back. We don't want to disturb their house. Well, it's time for a mid-morning snack and I brought a big bowl of fruits and vegetables. Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini love to munch on fruits and veggies. And this bowl lasts us about a week and a half. Sky's favorite fruit is the kiwi and it has a fuzzy brown skin. How many are there? One, two, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's one more over here, eight. We have eight kiwi. I think we should cut one open and show our fans what it looks like inside. I have my safe cutter, safe for kids to use, and Ooh, it's a bright green color and look at all of the little black seeds. They're so tiny and you can actually eat the seeds too. What is Chase's favorite fruit? It's a pear. I love pears too. This one has green dots on it and it's okay if there are a few blemishes. It still tastes the same or you can just cut them off of the skin and still eat it. We don't wanna waste our fruit, do we Chase? Rubble's favorite fruit is oranges. And oranges are full of vitamin C. This is a orange peeler. It makes it easier to peel the orange or you can slice them like this. And if they're seeds, you can just pick them out and put them on your plate. Zuma loves apples. And apples come in all different varieties. There are green apples, red apples, and some apples that are red and green. We love to make apple crisp. Marshall loves to eat a vegetable called peppers. There are red peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, and green peppers. And we are even growing peppers in our greenhouse. The plant is tiny now. But we're going to water it, give it sunlight, and fertilize it, and it'll grow and grow, and hopefully we get peppers this summer. Rocky loves avocados. This avocado is still quite green and hard, so it's not ready to eat. You want to wait till it's a little bit softer and the skin gets a little bit darker. Avocados are a fruit. Okay, tiny fans, now that you've learned about fruits and vegetables, it's time to look for Rocky in the forest. Have you spotted him? 
And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, we're going to read a Paw Patrol book called Ice Team. And the book is covered in glitter. And you can feel the glitter that's glued onto the book. And inside, a sparkling glitter inside plus glitter poster, which we'll show you at the end of the story. So let's begin the story. Ice Team. One sunny day, the Paw Patrol was getting ready for a trip to see their friend Jake at the ice fields. Suddenly, there was a loud roar and a big truck rolled up. Presenting the Paw Patroller, Ryder announced. It's a lookout on wheels. It can take us anywhere. A door opened in the side and a mechanical dog hopped out. Robo Dog will be our driver. And there's Robo Dog. As Ryder was showing the pups around the Paw Patroller, Jake called. Hey, Jake. How are the ice fields? Ryder asked. Amazing, Jake declared. Take a look. The screen showed snowy hills and an icy river. And there's the glittery sparkles. Just then, Jake slipped on the ice and the pups could hear him yell. My phone, my maps, all my stuff. Jake's equipment had splashed into the icy river. Oh dear. Jake's in big trouble, Rubble exclaimed. Pups, get in your vehicles, Ryder said. The Paw Patroller's back door opened and a ramp came out. The pups quickly drove their vehicles abroad. Robo Dog started the engine and the Paw Patroller rolled into action. At the ice fields, Jake was trying to get his backpack out of the water, but the riverbank was so icy that he began to slide in. Luckily, a husky pup pulled him out. Sweet, save, Jake said, then introduced himself. My name's Everest, the pup explained. I rescued someone. I've always wanted to do a real rescue. Very dangerous to be near cold waters. We should probably get going, Everest said. A storm's rolling in. I wouldn't want to lose my first real rescue in a blizzard. We can wait it out in my igloo. To get there, we can do this. Everest flopped onto her belly and slid down the hill. Belly bogganing? Jake shouted, taking off after her. Look out below! The two new friends slid along the ice, zooming past some penguins. When the Paw Patroller reached the ice fields, the snow was falling hard. The team started to look for Jake. They quickly found his frozen phone and pack. This means Jake doesn't have any supplies, Ryder said. Then he noticed something in the snow. Are those tracks? Chase gave the tracks a sniff. That's Jake, all right, and he's got another pup with him. Those tracks should lead us to Jake, Ryder announced. Let's follow them. As Chase followed the tracks on the ground, Sky took to the frosty air. This pup's got to fly. Everest and Jake came to a narrow bridge that stretched across a deep, dark ravine. My igloo is just across that ice bridge, Everest said. Will it hold us? Jake asked. I hope so, the husky replied. It's the only way to get over. As they walked across, they heard a terrible cracking noise. The ice bridge was breaking. See the crack? Very scary. Just as the bridge collapsed, Sky swooped in, 
catching Jake and Everest with a rope. But before she had carried them to the other side of the ravine, the rope broke. Jump, Jake yelled. Everest landed on a ledge, but Jake missed it. He caught the edge with his fingers and dangled over the dark ravine. Don't worry, Everest yelled. I've got you. She snagged Jake's sleeve and pulled him to safety. Yes, two rescues in one day. Everyone went to Jake's cabin on the mountain for roasted marshmallows and a surprise. Everest, Jake said, I could use a smart pup like you to help out on the mountain. And for saving Jake and showing great rescue skills, Ryder added, I'd like to make you an official member of the Paw Patrol. This is the best day ever, Everest exclaimed. And all the pups cheered, hooray! And now there's the newest member of Paw Patrol. That's the end of our story. And now I'm gonna show you the poster that is included in the book. It tears out and you can hang it up on your wall. Oh, wow. Look at that. Paw Patrol, and it's the picture of Everest. And it's the same picture as what's on the front of the book for your wall. And again, it has the glitter and the little penguins in the si side, rider in the background. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to have a look at our rare Paw Patrol Weebles Seal Island Pull and Play Set. Oh, and there's Wally the Walrus. Hmm, I wonder what he can do. Here comes Chase. Chase is on the case and he wobbles back and forth. Hmm, let's put Chase on the lookout in the lighthouse. Next we have Rocky. Where should we put Rocky on the island? How about Rocky goes on the yellow and blue swing and we push the red lever. He goes back and forth. Who is next? It's Zuma. And Zuma loves the water. Let's put Zuma on the tugboat. We pull the tugboat out into the water and then we push Wally the walrus and the rope pulls the boat back to shore. Next is Rubble. Oh, he's spinning. Rubble will go on the yellow boat since Rubble is wearing yellow clothes. Here comes Skye. Whoa, she was going fast. Skye is going to stand on the dock. Oh, she wants to go down the slide first. And finally, we have Fire Rescue Marshall. Now, there are two spots left. One on the top side of the boat or the top of the lighthouse. Hmm, and they're both red, just like Marshall. He's going to sit on the top of the boat. Let's go for one more ride. Let's see how far they can go. And if you love our videos, tiny fans, please subscribe so that we can continue bringing you videos every single day. We want to keep growing. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Years ago, we featured this Paw Patrol train in one of our videos and recently Tiny Treasures Mini found it in a closet and has asked me to build it again. So let's build it together, Tiny fans. We have the train tracks here and we are going to build the track and see after all of these years if the battery still works in the train. And there is our train track and we make sure that it's facing the right way up. Yes, it has the little notches in there. 
and we have the big engine. This is what makes the train go. Now, train engines are usually powered by steam or some type of fuel like diesel, but the trains that we ride in the city are usually powered by electricity. Oh, and it still works, tiny fans. I think we're going to be in luck. So the next cars are these two. And let's see, we've got, oh, I see Chase and Marshall. And we've got Rubble on there. And we make sure it's on properly because if the wheels aren't on the tracks properly, it won't go. So we've got Sky and Rocky. And at the end of the train is the caboose. There's Zuma, Marshall, and Chase. So we clip it on to the end and we're ready to start our engine. Okay, it seems to be running smoothly on the track and we can say hi to Chase, Rocky, Marshall, Sky, Rubble, and Zuma. They want to see the train. Oh, and it's off. There the train goes. Uh-oh, the train is stuck. What's happened? Let's investigate. Hmm, the wheels seem fine. Oh, the track was not put together properly. Okay, so now we need to lift it up. And you see how that little piece needed to be put in. And everything is fixed now, so we need to put the train back on. There we go. Oh, uh oh, oh. Now, oh, hmm, okay, the wheels, let's see. Ah, the wheels weren't on properly. All right, tiny fans, if you love our channel, we want you to help us continue to grow it and bring you videos every day. So please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It's free. Just hit the link below. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are outside with our red fire truck and all of our toys that wear red. We have Peppa Pig in her red dress. We have Marshall from Paw Patrol. And down here we have Daniel Tiger in his red jacket, Elmo and Poe. We love these green toys. They are 100% made from recycled materials. No batteries needed. Marshall's going to teach us about fire safety today. Let's head on inside the house. Don't ever play near a hot stove. Some stoves have a flame and your clothes can catch fire. There can also be electrical fires, so be sure not to plug too many cords into one outlet. Ask a parent to help you test the smoke alarms in your home. They should have a green light and you can push the button to test the alarm. Cover your ears, it's loud. Yep, ours is working. If they look sort of yellow like this, that means they're old and they need replacing. Don't ever play with matches or lighters. They are for adults only. Don't ever fool around or play around a lit candle and make sure you don't leave it unattended in a room. Before you leave the room, it must be blown out. Be sure to always have an escape plan. 
And if your clothing ever starts on fire, stop, drop, and roll. It's important to be fire safe. Talk to your family about fire safety in your home. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. As you know, we encourage little ones to play creatively with their toys at home. And we're going to have a behind the scenes look of some of our kids' favorite toys. Paw Patrol, trucks, cars, tractors. And speaking of pups, here's Puppy. His bed is in the middle of all of the play. And there's one of his favorite toys, the green alligator. It's bigger than him, silly Puppy. When the kids aren't playing with toys, they're practicing their music lessons. One of them plays guitar and another plays piano. This guitar is just the right size for kids. Tiny Treasures Minnie loves to play Paw Patrol with me. You should ask your parents to play with you sometimes. All kids should have a set of blocks. We have these all wood natural blocks that can be built into almost anything. Over here we have our Lightning McQueen. It was a lunch kit we got at Disneyland and it came with food inside. But Tiny Treasures Minnie loves to hide things in it. Oh, there's a little jewel inside. Behind Lightning McQueen, we have our Fisher Price Jet. And if any of our toys get hurt, we have our Tonka Ambulance. We can even turn the lights on without the sounds. Or how about opening or closing the back doors? Nobody's in the ambulance today. Now anywhere we are playing, usually we can find Kitty, she loves to be around her family. Now, as you fans may know, we love wooden toys because we feel they're better for the environment than plastic. We love to play with this wooden tree house. There's a golden treasure box right in the kitchen. And if we go upstairs, shh. There's a little fingerling and she's sleeping, hanging from the ceiling. Beside the tree house is the Playmobil rescue helicopter. Somebody's inside. And then we have our wooden Melissa and Doug castle. The king and queen are at the very top of the castle. And just below them is a horse with a pink saddle. There's a throne, a dungeon, oh, and two more horses. Nee! One of the favorite toys of the house is this Carrera racetrack. We have Lightning McQueen, Mater, and a red Ferrari car. On the bottom of each car, there are braided metal wires. They need to touch the metal on the track. Over here, we have an orange and blue race car and a black Porsche with red rims. When I push the red button on the controller, the car is supposed to move.
but the blue and orange car isn't working. Hmm, let me check the threads and make sure they are straight. It's race time, and the Paw Patrol toys are going to watch the blue and orange car race Lightning McQueen. We need to get them to the start line. Uh-oh, one of the cars is stalled. Oh dear, crash! Let's start the race again. Uh-oh, Lightning McQueen's engine has stalled. Stop the race. Lightning McQueen is out of the race. Now it's time to race the black Porsche against the orange and blue car. The first one across the finish line wins. And the orange and blue car is the winner. I encourage all of you tiny fans to play with your favorite toy today and even ask your parents to join in. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.